Hello, beautiful souls. Thank you for joining me here and welcome to my table. So my friends, my collective friends, I have a an exciting message to share with you. I haven't done a collective here for a minute and I was wanting to get to doing one of these messages. It just wasn't feeling like quite the right time and now is the time. So let's get to it. I did have a symbol, a couple symbols actually that came through for you guys and Again, I'm excited to share this with you. I'm excited to use it myself, to be honest with you. So looking at your energy collectively here in meditation, the word aggrandizement or to aggrandize, aggrandizing is what came through. And the definition of, of that aggrandize is to increase power, status, wealth. Typically, personally anyway, that's one of the definitions. Um, I tend to hear that in a negative context. And I don't know if that's because people are uh, complaining that they're not on the receiving end of that aggrandizement. I'm not really sure. In this context, I don't take it as a negative thing at all. In fact, I take it as a very, very positive thing, especially with the symbols that came through. I'm happy to share this. I'm happy to, to use this myself as well. So let's get into it. I'll show you the, I'll show you the symbols here. Two symbols. The top symbol here is, uh, well, I'll show this to you. You can pause the video, draw this out if you'd like to utilize its magic or function. So this was called Augur Abundance or is called Augur Abundance, to Augur Abundance. So symbol one here, this is symbol two here. Uh, I feel it's important to impress that the center here is not closed. The, the lines do not come in to meet each other. So with auger abundance, what do we do with this, Zachary, you ask? Well, let me tell you, my friends. <laughs> um, so I was told to start, the instruction was to mull it over, and then I was brought to muled wine. Um, and I, I like to share the process of where spirit's leading me here. The, the reason for that was to bring me to the spices, muling spices. Cinnamon is what came through. So I was told the first, the first symbol here... You're going to draw this out, place it on a piece of paper. You're going to sprinkle some cinnamon on that too. Both of these symbols are already activated. So nary a worry, my friend. Um, you're going to sprinkle cinnamon on the paper. You're going to stand on the outside of your front door. You're going to blow this into your home. Okay. So um, if anybody has any allergies or is irritated by things it has sensitivities, please be careful. I just feel like there's a caution for that, okay? Um, cinnamon, you know, inhaling cinnamon can not feel the best. So just be cautious with that. Um, this is very much drawing me to a, like an abundance cinnamon spell um, where you do blow cinnamon into your front door. There are things that can be said or chanted as you as you do this as well. No need to do any of that, okay? Like I said, the symbols are already active. So you're gonna blow the cinnamon into your front door. You can leave that for 24 hours if you feel comfortable with that. You can sweep it up right away if that's something that you need to do as well. But I feel like leaving it for a day is not going to hurt the whole process of this. So next you're gonna take that first symbol and you're going to place it on the front of your door. So the outside of your door. You would see it as you're coming in, uh, coming into your, excuse me, I'm sorry, I had that backwards. You're actually gonna put that symbol, I was just remembering, yeah, you're gonna put that symbol on the inside of your door. So if you're facing your door from the inside, this first symbol that you blew cinnamon off of is going on your door. The second symbol is going on the outside of your door. The intention of this symbol here, they told me distraction. Um, the, way, the way that I sensed that was more of like a, um, getting something or somebody's attention. Um, this energy, the energy of abundance is seeing this on your door and is saying, hey, I think I'll stop right on by. Noticing that cinnamon, noticing the symbol on the front of your door too. This is just creating an environment of a, um, comfort for abundance to stay, okay? Cool, so I'm, like I said, super, super excited about that, you guys. Really excited to utilize this myself. So good luck, have fun with that. Um, moving right on into the message coming through here too. I mean, that was a part of the message, but three cards came through with the archetype, uh, Wild Unknown archetype deck. You guys got the threshold, 
which I love to see that because we're literally talking about your threshold, the doors, your doors. Um, the gem came through here as well. And then the unseen. Okay, so let's talk about this. So with the threshold, this is, uh, let's see here, the door, the door gate initiation. What came through as I was reading this in the book here too was this isn't your typical door. This ain't your typical door, okay? You are creating um, a very abundant portal with your front door. So there is an encouragement here. This individual, they're right at the threshold. They do need to jump off of that jumping point, that threshold, into what is considered a liminal space. So I feel like there is an amount of... Um, Trust, always, faith and trust. There's an amount of that in in either going through this process. I have, mm, I'm hearing that's separate. Okay. So this whole symbol, this is a part of the message with abundance, but we're kind of moving into something a little bit different here. So there's something that needs to be approached, jumped, jumped from. <laughs> I'm, losing, I'm missing my words there on that. Um into this liminal space. Something is, is coming next. Don't be afraid, okay? Don't be scared, my friends. It's okay to take this step forward. This is where you want to go. This is where you're meant to go. This is where you want to go. With the gem coming through here too, the gem. <laughs> I love this because we are talking about abundance, gems. You know, we do see that as abundance. They're worth money, right? Money, money. The gem card though here talks about uh, the gem is existing inside of something that is not like it. So when you're searching for that abundance or when you're attracting that abundance to you, what I, what I get is that this isn't coming in a package that you're necessarily expecting or would expect. It's going to look a little bit different than you thought it would. Um, the diamond, gold, and inner treasure. You can't find this, that's right. You can't find this amongst comfort and pleasantries as well as what the book says. So back to the threshold here with the gem, I feel like there's something that needs to be approached that's not necessarily comfortable for you. And I don't feel like it's that you're putting yourself in discomfort um, just to be uncomfortable. It's, it's change, it's growth. And because of that, well, it's not comfortable. I'm seeing, you know, two of wands kind of energy, a need to make oneself uncomfortable for the sake of growth, for the sake of finding this gem, whatever this gem is. And we'll, we'll get into it a little further. The unseen. So the unseen here is the spirit, ancestor, or the eternal. The call, uh, <laughs> when I was reading the definition in the book here, that I definitely standing out, um, the call is coming from inside, is what the book was saying, inside here. The call is coming from inside the house. Wherever this direction, or whatever this direction is, excuse me, is coming from you. Whether it is an eternal being, an ancestor, spirit guide, um, leading you to this energy, it's still a message that's coming from the inside, okay? So I feel like there's a need to, what I'm hearing is cold distractions. This is a time right now, especially if you are utilizing this, this is a time right now to pay attention, to listen to the small voice is what I'm hearing, okay? Okay, let's get further into this. I'm excited, you guys. I'm excited. Which, what are we doing here? Okay, we'll grab a couple other Oracle cards to define this and then we'll move in with the tarot. Can we get a little more information on this message, please, Spirit? Why are you having me do this? Community comes through. Hmm. I kind of feel like either, either you need help with something or someone needs your help too. What? Or not too, but <laughs> either, either or. Grab a animal spirit oracle as well. Ooh, you guys. Dragon comes through. 
line it up here with my eye. <laughs> the dragon. Okay, so dragon, ooh, unicorn here at the bottom too. <laughs> you guys are just getting all the fantasy creatures. Unicorn, this is your third eye, third eye chakra. Um, the energy with the unicorn to start is one of doubt, really. Can we be sure that we are feeling what we're feeling, that we know what we know, that we're seeing what we are seeing from the inside? We need to trust there's a lot of trust that's coming through here. We need to trust that the messages we are receiving or what we are seeing is correct for us. I think there are times to question things, um, but if it's coming from a, a message coming from your gut, from your heart, we're going to trust that. Okay. The dragon, this is, um, this is the solar plexus, excuse me, the solar plexus chakra. So this is, our identity, feeling confidence, knowing ourselves, knowing oneself. I feel like I'm, what I'm hearing is treasure map. X marks the spot where there's something about there's something about you following your own beat, the beat of your own drum here. What I'm seeing is that like hash that dashed line on a treasure map that's leading you to the X. And this this is where the gem is. This is where some abundance is, maybe some literal treasure, I don't know. Maybe there's literally something that you're or physically receiving. It feels, like I said, it feels a little separate from the symbol message. Like they're sisters, not twins, right? <laughs> like our eyebrows, they're sisters, not twins, or brothers, not twins. <laughs> um, this abundance or this treasure, the gem, is the sister to this. Like this will bring, literally bring abundance, money, wealth, whatever, whatever it is that you're um, do is what I'm hearing. Will help hasten that up. But this portion here, it feels it feels more like the gold is who you are. The gold is the star, wasn't it? One of these, hold up, hold up. Oh, it was the gem. Yeah, in the book here too. Um, sorry, I moved my lighting around, so I'm getting used to not casting shadows. Um, the star, they, they refer to the gem as the star as well. Ooh, I'm, what is this? This is exciting. <laughs> um, I feel like they're asking to open the dragon. What about the dragon? I did open right to um, elephant. Spirit is saying, say something. Okay, okay. Um, obliterating obstacles. I feel like something, something has been blocking even for lifetimes, interesting. Blocking your access to you. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, seeing one's most true self and balancing the ego. Okay. I feel like the ego has been always interfering with you approaching, not just approaching this threshold, but jumping off. Jumping off into the liminal space. Oh, this is a weird realm, you guys. <laughs> okay, I want to pull some tarot cards here as well. Which deck do you want me to use, Spirit? Wait, here's tarot. Um, I'm going to freestyle this, you guys. We're going to do freestyle. Because I have some specific questions. Can we get... Um, let's see... What I'm seeing, as I'm saying, jumping off into this liminal space, I'm being brought to the gem here. But the gem is, it's like it's popping in and out of whatever dimension the liminal space is. Like this is a fifth dimensional object and you're jumping off into a liminal space that is the fourth dimension. So it only exists in the fourth dimension or you can only see it in the fourth dimension from time to time. What the hell does that mean? 
Okay. Um, ooh. The chariot comes through here. Um, faith again is coming coming through as a message being brought forward. This is positive forward movement. And like I said, this it feels like it's something your soul your soul has been working to experience, accomplish for quite some time and something has just been getting in the way. The ego, other people. The final trip, what what does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> not like death. No, I mean that's not a, it's not a final transition anyway. The rider here on the chariot, if they were to look down at the horses, they're not connected to the carriage at all. And so there's a great deal of faith that's required in taking this trip, knowing that physically you can't maybe see what's going on here, but knowing that there are other energies, higher powers that are moving the carriage along. And that brings me to the, the gem kind of coming in and out too. Almost like, like the reins are here. They're just in another dimension. Can you give me a little more information on that, please, Spirit? Ooh, okay. Queen of Swords in reverse and then Three of Swords. So this has something to do with something that um, has broken your heart, has created a lot of pain, torment in this regard. This individual is like screaming to the heavens. And I like this deck. I love this deck, but Lightseer's Tarot. Um, the, they're not swords in the heart here, but there are stitches that are happening. They're in the process of healing. With the Queen of Swords in reverse here, this is bringing me to the unseen. This is something that it's like a refusal to see. And this is where I'm kind of feeling, kind of feeling the ego. Queen of Swords in reverse can also symbolize like icy heart, the ice queen, snow bitch is what <laughs> I like to call her. So something has happened either in this lifetime or in another lifetime where you've experienced a loss of wealth. What is the wealth? Something about your family. I'm being brought back to the word aggrandize. It feels like there was something that was, oh gosh. There was something that was intended to be yours that you never received. And this could be in this lifetime, you guys. I'm feeling for for someone at least. This is not this is not from this lifetime. What ha what happened to that person? Why didn't they receive? Six of Pentacles. <laughs> Speaking of receiving, so this is that energy of give and take. It is receiving. It is also giving. Something something wrong with the flow. The Six of Pentacles can be, um, it's giving help as you have it to give, and it's receiving help when you need it. There's that concept of the ego getting in the way, like when you need help with something, we ask for help. We're not going to shoot ourselves in the foot there by, by staying in, in a spot that's not helpful for us. Back to the ego again. Okay, what, uh, I'm feeling drawn to this one here, 1919 on the timer. It's like the beginning and end, beginning and end. Hmm. Somewhere in the middle. Okay, can I get a little more information here on the Six of Pentacles, please, Spirit? Dedication, stay dedicated to your goals, efforts will reap success, and then celebration, good times come from hard work, time spent in good company. Yeah, this feels like you were you were do something. You put the effort in, you put the work in, even getting ready for a celebration, maybe even planned the party. And like I said, this could be something in, in this lifetime, you guys. 
but it's I'm just feeling pulled to some other time or place. Where do you want me to go with that, spirit? This took a turn. I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Can I get a little more information on... What does this individual do now? <laughs> okay, that, like, done did fly all the way off my set. Hold on. Nine of Cups. <laughs> I've never had that happen before. Um, this feels like for, for some of you, it could have had something to do with the child or you were the child is what it's feeling like to me. Like I was saying, something in a, a family, like a an inheritance that maybe you were due or next in line for something. But the Nine of Cups is a wish fulfilled. So in asking what what to do, what does this person do? This, well, this person's jumping off here, too, drawn back to that threshold. Make a wish. I already did. Right. There's no need to give up on it. Okay. Okay. What, um, what is this threshold, spirit? What is this? What is the threshold? Ten of Wands here. So something needing to be released. A sacrifice. Okay, what um what is the sacrifice? Can you can you tell me a little bit more about the sacrifice? What are we doing here? Yeah, no, that's legit for sure. <laughs> Sacred space. I'm getting chills on that too. And there's kids there as well. Little babies. Little babies and the eggs. And there's there's the family. I feel like whoever communication at the bottom, whoever I'm talking to that this is this is from another lifetime. It feels like that part of your soul or experience needs to be needs to be told or made to feel that it's okay. It's okay to release whatever whatever this was that didn't didn't end up becoming yours in that situation it's coming it's coming back around okay so what's coming next then what's coming next for this person what happens when they make the sacrifice or can you tell me how do they make the sacrifice The moon, the wheel here too at the bottom. So it feels like there is there is an amount of movement that's out of your control here. This this was set in motion. It feels like whatever that component was that was taken away wasn't necessarily part of the plan. And this is this is getting really complicated, you guys. I was not expecting this. It wasn't a part of the plan, but whose plan? That's what I'm hearing. The wheel is still in motion. Yes. So as far as the sacrifice or this threshold, what needs to be done about, about this, the moon. Um, facing, facing a fear here. Maybe you have a fear of heights? Hmm. <laughs> This sinking is kind of what's standing out to me here, though, in this card. Maybe you have a fear of the water. Ooh. What lies beneath? Hmm. 
Gosh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this, you guys. This was an interesting one. It's fun to it's fun to freestyle. Anything more on the moon here? I'm seeing somebody like has thrown something into the water. <laughs> Sacrifice, giving up something now for a future reward. I can't. I can't even. I can't even make this up. Sacred to the old gods? What the hell does that mean? What do you want? What do you want me to say about that? All is none and none is all. Apology, forgiveness through mutual understandings here at the bottom as well. It's feeling like it's feeling like there's a request here to to really detach from an expectation on even life in general. This is this is really interesting. And I don't mean it in a in a like, oh well, <laughs> there's just no point. There's there's a request here to elevate. Like this jumping off point, the threshold is actually you're not falling, you're you're elevating. And I think that's where the, the fear here is that you will sink. Oh my gosh, interesting. I don't have my camera set up here that I can tilt it, but um, I'll show you the way that these are set up. So the gem was right in the center <laughs> at the unseen and the dragon. Your third eye. Ooh, you guys. What in the hell? And you had third eye with the unicorn too. Okay, I'm gonna move into the Phantasma deck here. Spirit, what the hell? <laughs> what is the what is the point of this message? Seven of Wands. I'm hearing get ready. Seven of Wands, this is um, you know, need to protect, center, ground. There's that feeling of being whatever happened where something was taken away, this is creating an event where you're now feeling that you're being attacked from everywhere that you need to defend all of the time. And that energy is absolutely, say that again, removing access to your dreams. Okay. It's robbing you of your energy to jump from the threshold here. The two of cups here at the bottom is standing out to me. Um, typically connection, okay. What's standing out about this though is like the passing, they're clinking cups here, but I'm kind of seeing that they're uh, exchanging. They're shaking hands there, or holding hands there too. This feels, this feels like a, like you. Both of these individuals are you. Like a mirror, a mirror dimension. <laughs> there are two eyes up there in the smoke too. I don't know if you can see that with the two hearts in the center. Okay, okay. What is this gem? I wanna know what the gem is here, spirit. It does, okay, so that's the detachment. Okay, Ace of Wands. The detachment that's being requested, like I was saying, to detach from life here a bit, is the experience that um, everything is against you or needing to fight to defend. And I'm not saying that there aren't, you know, situations in life where we need to experience life. This is for someone in, in particular. Maybe you have a lot of anxiety. 
And I get it's not just something you can, oh, that's, I was going to say you can't just throw it away. But what I'm seeing is actually um, holding, you're holding this stone and you're dropping it in deep water. Who? Who? <laughs> um, my goodness. Ooh, I've got all the chills. What does, what does that mean? Okay, so maybe this is something that you can actually do or visualize. Um, that's a heavy stone. I'm like sacrificing to the old gods. What's coming through is Poseidon. So this is very interesting. Maybe the ocean would be a good place to do this if you can. Uh, but any body of water, there's something about like speaking into the stone, your fear, whatever it is that you're trying to release here as far as defense goes and dropping that into the deep water. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know why that gives me, oh my goodness. Because you had that with the moon here too. Like allowing that component of yourself to sink, to sink to the bottom, to be reinvigorated, to be reintroduced. Oh my gosh, you guys, almost like a baptism. Oh, weird. <laughs> to be reintroduced to the community is what I'm hearing. Who? I don't normally get this many chills. Goodness gracious. It just feels like some very powerful energy. Very necessary to move this through. Okay. Um, with the Ace of Wands coming through here, though, this is your opportunity to start start again, to start new, to feel new, to feel vibrant. Goodness, okay. <laughs> um, what, uh, yeah, this, I feel like this got really scattered. Let me try to bring this together here. Anything else on the Ace of Wands, please, Spirit? Release. Hey, release grudges, wounds, and pent up feelings through healthy activities. That, um, like I said, if you want to visualize it or you're in a space where you can literally do that, that feels very important to somebody. Maybe you've already done this. I don't know why, like, because hmm. I'm following this stone as it's being dropped and I don't want to go any further, whatever's down there into the unseen maybe you have a fear of deep water okay and what does this do what does this do for this person justice balance Ooh, you guys magician here at the bottom too <laughs> pulling yourself out of this hat pulling yourself up damn all the chills justice so releasing this, releasing this connection to whatever was, was taken from you or was never given, this brings true balance to you. This brings you an opportunity to, um, what I, I want to be drawn back to is like this, this wasn't a part of the plan or it wasn't meant to happen. Because we have free will, there is so much wiggle room on things that are meant to happen. So this opportunity for you to release this here, this is you doing something that wasn't meant to happen either. I'm having, I hope that makes sense. It's kind of weird the way it's coming through. This is, this is how you fight back. What does that mean? These eyes, these eyes are on everything. The unseen. Okay, I want to try to try to bring this together here. Spirit, I'm curious about. It feels like, yeah, this ant there's is an ancestor or somebody from 
this family in the past that's helping you take these actions to help balance those scales out that needed that meant were meant to be balanced in the first place. Okay. Um, who is this? Who is this person in the unseen? What needs to be seen? <laughs> Ten of Wands again, <laughs> and Four of Wands. <laughs> <laughs> and the fool here at the bottom. So starting a new journey. It feels like um, the soul, like I was saying, this, something about your experience energetically that's stuck somewhere. Faith with the fool as well is coming through. There's a need to, to jump, to jump from the um, threshold here. The four of wands, this is a threshold as well. This is a major threshold. So what is, what is being encouraged with this ancestor, this divine entity, is to cross this threshold. Ten of Wands, stop it. I can't even make this up. Oh my gosh. Ten of Wands is releasing a burden. But there are stones being thrown. <laughs> okay. Um, this very much reminds me of a phoenix here too. And that's kind of, yeah, kind of that with the fool as well. <laughs> hey, you guys, I say try it. Even if you don't with a stone, even if you don't know what it is you're putting into that stone, I feel like divine grace, just like your charge before. What does that mean? Oh, gosh. Okay, your your energetic body, your soul already knows what needs to be put into this stone. So when you go and do this, the request here is to let go. You already know what to do with it, okay? <laughs> Guys, this is so cool. Uh, this is a cool reading. I don't know. Anything else there on the Ten of Wands? Rest. Listen to your body. I was just saying that. Listen to your body mentally and physically unwind. Your your body, yourself, knows what to do here. And this releases, this releases you from this ball and chain that you've been carrying around. It's like the pain from mm, I'm back to aggrandizement. Something that you were you were owed to be aggrandized. And it feels like somebody came through and, and took it from you. Okay. <laughs> um, I feel like this could go on forever and I don't want to, I don't want to do that to you or me, my friends. The takeaways here, that stone, dropping that stone in water feels important. But what I'm hearing, okay, when you go and do that is not to touch the water. It's okay if like water touches you, if there's a splash or something, but it, like don't get in that water. Okay. Okay. I want to pull an Oracle card here to close this out. Can we bring this together here, spirit. It already is together. Okay. We're still going to pull, pull a card here, but it already is together. Okay. Um, last message here, please, for the collective. Anything else that we need to know here? I'm excited to go back and watch this one, you guys. When I when I do channel, especially when I go deep channel, um, I do not have memory of really what I've said much. <laughs> so I'm interested to see it again. <laughs> okay, read this from the book here. Uh, that one's standing out too. Okay, multidimensional healing. Who was just talking about multidimensions? <laughs> Spirit, that's who. Love and prayer. Are you willing to let go? <laughs> Are you willing to let go of the fear and worry that serve no useful purpose in your life? If so, healing is available to you right now. Through the grace of love, the past, present, and future can be healed. 
can't even make this up. Invite healing into your life through prayer. Talk to the angels and ask for their help. There is a sacred flame within you that can be activated by your command. Activate it now. Ooh. Ooh, okay. The angels will help you if you believe and trust. Trust and faith. At this very moment, you are being filled with healing light. Accept and do not doubt it. If tears flow, let them, for this too is part of your, of your healing. I almost said feeling. That which is most precious is inside you. And I feel like this is, this is the gem that's you. The true you that's unfettered by the fear and doubt. Who, oh, gosh, you guys. Touched by an angel, grace and gratitude too. Release. This is the other one that came through. Release. <laughs> Release frustration and anger and express the love and light that you truly are. The gem that you are. You are a beautiful soul. Yes, you are. A beautiful friend loved by so many. <laughs> Why cloud this love? Let the real you shine through. The grateful, uh, be grateful, excuse me, be grateful for your life and the many blessings you receive each day and will receive is what I'm hearing. Gratitude will lead you to peace and peace will lead you to abundance and joy. Woo! Focus on the good in your life and everything else will fall into place. Beyond thought, there is a knowing that embraces all knowledge, a knowing that, is, that does not divide nor keep one truth from another. Within this knowing, you will find all that you thought was missing. Within this knowing, you will rediscover your beautiful soul. So, um, yeah, what you thought was missing, it's already complete. Like I was saying, it was coming through. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, this was fun. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for allowing me to read this energy for you. Um, Y'all, I love you. Thank you again for, I'm just, I just feel giddy. I'm just like, wow, this was a lot of fun. <laughs> If you guys are interested in private readings, I do have those open and available. You can check that out in the description of the video. I have my website there. Um, Cash App and PayPal links are down there too if you feel called to tip or donate. I truly appreciate the support to the channel, you guys. It isn't mandatory, but to those who do, thank you. I love you. Please uh, utilize the symbol here. Please go throw that rock in the ocean. <laughs> and enjoy the clearer version of you enjoy the brilliance of that gem the unseen is becoming seen it just takes some faith on your side okay the fear will dissipate and the angels will sing Ooh, fun okay i love you guys so so much thank you for joining me here um i'll talk to you soon oh also hey please like share comment subscribe i love you guys for your support as well we'll see you soon okay ta-ta